Local restaurants face a juggling act as they try to keep up with the constant changes in the stay-at-home order. How do you balance, you know, public safety and staying in business? News 8's Chris Groh joining us live in Scripps Ranch with that part of the story. Good morning to you, Chris. Hey, look, the reason, Stella and Eric, that this executive order went into place in the first place is because there were businesses and a lot of people openly defying the state stay-at-home order and even some of the county health guidelines. Now, we did ask one of the legal experts that we work with to take a look at this executive order from the mayor's office uh, to give us insight into why it's in place. It's designed to keep everyone safe and everybody complying with the orders. That's really the goal is compliance. And so as many of you know by now, that executive action directs the police department and city attorney's office to write citations up to $1,000 for any business or person that defies those public health orders, either at the city, county, or state level. Now, it's another line, another obstacle to juggle, so to speak, for struggling businesses. Take, for instance, restaurants, where we are at today, probably one of the hardest hit industries during this pandemic. Owners have to decide if takeout and delivery is enough to keep them open for business and to pay their employees. And for some, that answer is yes, especially for many of those fast food places or places that were just already uh, doing a majority of their business as takeout. But for others, it's more complicated. Some have openly uh, decided that they will defy the public health orders to try and survive in the meantime, and others have tried Try to make adjustments like the public house here uh, in order to try to survive. 34 employees. Uh, now we have two employees per day, one cook and one uh, person working the counter, so to speak. Uh, so we've cut our the amount of hours and employees way, way back. It's it's at you know it's 10% of what it was before. And look, this executive order went into place last week in advance of that New Year's Eve holiday. Now, uh, outside of that party that we saw happen in Miramar due to that stage collapse, according uh, to our sources, not many citations have been uh, have been handed out so far.